to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and it's been eight, six years. <laughs> my camera didn't even want to turn on. It's been a minute, but I wanted to sit down and get ready with you guys. I wanted to put my face on today. I've missed talking to you guys. The vlogs are so much different than this type of video. You know, this one, you can just prop it up. You know I'm not going to be going anywhere different or showing you something. You're not going to miss anything. You can just prop me up and get ready with me. And that is exactly what we're gonna do today. We are going to talk about brows. We're gonna talk about this lip stain you need in your life. We are going to talk about my latest venture. As if I didn't have plenty of things to do already, I thought it was a great idea to open an Etsy shop right before baseball season starts. We're in preseason right now, so there's two practices a week per kid, so that's four practices a week, and that's preseason. Competitive baseball is not for the faint of heart, let me tell you. So anyway, we get into that, we get into the makeup, we get into <laughs> my lash lift, you guys, that's why my lashes are looking amazing. One layer of mascara, I know. I've missed you guys, I've missed you so much. Like any and all of my Get Ready With Me's, all of the products that I use, I will show you and I will make sure to list in the description box of this video. But if you just wanna watch me get ready and talk about random stuff, all you gotta do is keep on watching. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna grab a couple of products. You know, since moving my stuff around, it's gotten really easy to get ready because everything's here. I used to have to get up, go around and grab it. Get up, go around, like come back. And it was just, I'm more motivated to put my face on anyway. All right, you guys, you know the drill with these videos. I am not gonna teach you to do anything. I'm just gonna put on my face and chit chat with you guys. Talk about where we've been, what we've been up to, what's new. Don't look at my mess. Oh look, you can see my little crafting station now. Oh my goodness. Just pretend this isn't here. Maybe I should just fill it with stickers. No, but then. The stickers, you would be looking at the stickers. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm not teaching you to do anything, right? All right, we're getting squirrely. Let's get started. I am going to go in with Makeup Revolution, or actually, Revolution Makeup. You know, I'm pretty sure, and I wanna say, I'm 99% sure that we have been saying this makeup brand wrong. I think it's Revolution. I don't think it's Revolution Pro or Makeup Revolution or Revolution, I think it's, revolution makeup. I think we've been saying it wrong because I got an email from them the other day and I was like, is that the same brand? So I clicked on the link and I was like, oh, it is the same brand. Pretty sure I've been saying your brand wrong this whole time. Please forgive me. <laughs> Tower 28 concealer in MDR. I have seen so many mixed reviews about this concealer. Half of them love it. Half of them are like, wow, this is literally the worst concealer in the world. Here's the thing. With concealer, I found, and let me tell you, I'm a pro because I'm half raccoon. I know I say it wrong. The thing with concealer is thinner is better, right? The thinner the layer, the better. And there's no such thing as a creaseless concealer. That for me is probably, you know, having sponges would be, would be great. I got them damp, but I left them at my desk because that makes perfect sense. So one of my beauty pet peeves is Creaseless concealer. No, there is no such thing because guess what? You got creases there. So the thicker the layer, the deeper the crease. That's just the thing, it's a given, you know what I mean? So the thinner the better, the better the color match, the better, cause it's like a little bit more invisible. The thinner the powder, the better. And you kind of learn to use your concealers. So for example, these two dry. A lot of concealers don't. I love concealers that dry, but they all have like a different time or like a length of time that they take to dry. So you kind of let them sit a little bit, kind of air dry as you're talking to your friends and then bump them out and they will cling to wherever you bump them to. And so that's better, right? Because you're getting the coverage, they're drying fast, so it's not gonna give too much time for the creasing to get funky trunks. It gives you a better finish. So I went in with Ultra Creamy Shape Tape and the Tower 28 Concealer. Those are my two fit, wow. I promise they're the right color match. Do you wanna, you wanna see? Like, <laughs> I am no longer pale. This is a get ready with me where I announce that I am no longer tan. I'm officially tanless. All the beautiful melanin from the summer has left. 
So I am not as nice as I am in the summer when I am warm. I hate being cold. Anyone else? Anyone else a fan of I hate being cold or I'd rather be hot than cold? I know we're in the minority. Like most people hate being hot. And I know because I live with one and he gets super cranky if he's hot because he's uncomfortable. And I guess it's kind of like a toddler, a toddler that hasn't slept or eaten or that is uncomfortable, like they get super fussy. Same thing with grownups. I get super fussy if I'm hungry or if I'm cold or if I'm mildly inconvenienced. So maybe those are the two, the two things you're gonna learn from this video besides the fact that my watch is extremely noisy is the thinner the layer, the better. And depending on the formulation of the concealer, let it air dry a little bit before you bump it out either with your foundation brush or your favorite beauty sponge. And then you're gonna get perfect coverage every time it's gonna dry. You're gonna minimize the amount of time between concealer setting and powder and that will diminish the look of creasing. That's all we're doing with the concealer. Then I'm gonna go in with a dimmer light and the Typology Loose Powder, one of my favorite powders ever. And I might need this, I might not. These little sponges, you guys, I showed them to you in a vlog. They are from Real Techniques. You see how flat they are? They are your new under eye best friend. It's like the perfect size, especially if you like cream products. So I have not quit cream products. I thought maybe it was gonna be like a passing phase for me where I was like, okay, you guys remember we went from like ultra super heavy duty matte, then we went into the natural finish, then we went into like the illuminated finish, but I haven't quit the natural glowy finish. Like that's just, that's where I am right now. And so using cream products, you really can't be using too much powder because that kind of just defeats the purpose. I went in with very little powder. All that does is it kind of just locks in your concealer, but throughout the day, you're gonna have a very natural finish. It's not going to look like it's breaking up on your skin because there's not a lot of products competing to kind of sweat out on your face. So I just do my forehead down the center and then sort of around my jawline. Anywhere where I put concealer, the heaviest. So the lightest areas were here. I'm not even gonna touch that with powder. So if you're on the cream product bandwagon or you have dry skin, these little sponges are the perfect size to get in here without bringing too much powder down on your face. All right, this other Real Techniques sponge that I got, so good, totally competes with my Beauty Blender blusher. I still prefer the shape of the Beauty Blender blusher because it has sort of like a flat side, a domed side, and then a pointy side, whereas this one has a full on flat side and then a pointy side. This one takes a little bit of practice when it comes to application, like learning your technique, but I mean, it's possible, like all things. It takes a couple of tries and then you're like, oh, I got it. So we'll do that right here this is a wow okay maybe a more than a few tries to learn it just kidding i always put on too much but it's fun with cream products because if you put too much you can take it off you know it's not i think there's like a really big mystery around cream products where it's like oh my god it's too much i messed up my face no you know keep your beauty blender handy the one that you use for your foundation or for your concealer or whatever, and it's your best friend. That one's gonna help you a lot in terms of blendability or kind of making it look seamless as opposed to like a Neapolitan ice cream sandwich, you know what I mean? That used to happen to me a lot when I was learning. Kind of, there's sort of a learning curve with cream products. If you're gonna go in with mixed mediums, like a powder, a cream, a water base, an oil base, a whatever, a liquid. So there was a learning curve for me. You guys know, we keep it real around here. There was a big learning curve, but once you figure it out, you're like, oh, okay, I got that. You learn sort of how to layer it, how to blend it. So this is all advice from a non-pro. So what have we been getting ourselves into? It's been 85 years, right? Like, I don't, my camera probably didn't even wanna turn on. It was like, 
oh wow you remember I exist how does that feel that must be nice okay we're gonna go in with a cream highlighter I like to do a little bit on the back of my hand first there's warmth on your skin so it softens it that way I can go directly in with it if you do not have practice skill technique don't know how it works never go in straight always put it on a brush or a sponge and then use that to put it on but I've kind of figured it out if I warm it up with the back of my hand then it's softer and I could really go in directly and then either use my finger or my beauty sponge to kind of blend it out. See, the warmth of your finger, it's your best friend. As long as your hands are clean, touch your face as much as you want, and you get that really natural glow. I put a little bit here just for tradition. And I really like this highlighter from Milk because it's super natural. It actually looks like you're just a little sweaty. You know, but like sexy sweaty. Is there a sexy sweaty? Maybe sweaty is the wrong word. There's not a there's not enough glamour attached to sweaty. Glistening. You're like like a sexy donut. You know. <laughs> okay, we are gonna do our brows. I have not changed anything with how I do my brows, so I'm tempted to just jump off camera and be like, okay, you all already know how I do this. But I also miss you guys, and I know you prefer the lengthier videos, which is odd because, you know, analytics says otherwise. But we're going to roll with it. The elf. Look at me holding my arm. Have any of you guys gotten just older and your body just doesn't respond the way it used to when you were in your 20s? Hi, if you were the youth and you're watching, do not take your youth for granted. Gosh, I think about my mom every single day with things that I forget, things that I say, things that I do. It's crazy. You know, you're 35 one day and the minute you turn 36, your body's like, ha ha ha, welcome to this side of the world. It's just so weird. Like, oh, you can't eat spicy food the way you used to because your tummy acts up. Oh, you can't do that. The latest with me, if you guys don't watch the vlogs, is I'm having like joint pain, like and it's not even pain. I hate to say pain because that automatically like throws up like alarm bells or alarm whistles or however that expression goes. But it's like this tightness in my joints and it's only on my arms and my fingers. So like from my shoulders down to my fingertips, it almost feels like my, like the extension of me, like my arms. Oh, is that a Mern hair? Oh, it's a Mern hair! Come on, Mern. Oh, I miss my dogs. They just feel like they're shrinking, like they're getting tight. So moving them, like, takes effort. And sometimes it's worse than others. And I was super worried because both of my grandmas ha had, rest in peace, arthritis. So obviously I was making a thunderstorm in a cup of water. I text my mom and I was like, how old were my grandmas when they got arthritis? And my mom was like, uh, super old, so relax. But I got all the blood work done and all the tests and everything that I'm supposed to do and everything came back negative, as always. You know, you get blood work and they're always like, get enough sleep, drink water, exercise. And I'm like, okay, can you recommend something that I couldn't have just read on Google? I have this problem with my brows where like, I don't know when to stop. Like just to move away. Just back away from your brows, stop touching. I have that, well, that's with blush and highlighter and food. If you guys haven't tried the Big Bush Brow from Urban Decay. Oh my gosh. If you don't like the soap brows or the wax brows or the I look like I got electrocuted brows, this stuff is magic. I even use it on days where I don't do brow pencil. It's just so good. So good. It has staying power. It has fibers and it also has, I don't know what else, but it basically makes your lashes look fluffier, three-dimensional. It holds them down all day. It doesn't make them sticky or waxy or hard, but it holds them in place. So it has a two, like it has two different sides on the brush. So you can kind of fluff up on one side or comb through. And then on the other side, you can be a little more aggressive, but it's just so good. And they have so many different colors. I bought two different shades and I use both of them like whenever, but right now we went in with Neutral Nana. I'm not sure if this is the taupey one or the brown one. I think it's the taupey one. It's awesome. But yeah, so I got all the work that I was supposed to get checked or the blood work, got all the work done, <laughs> I wish, and everything came back negative. So 
we're healthy, yay, but like, okay, but why do my fingers still feel like this? So anyway, we're still trying to figure that out. This is, I don't know if I wanna go in with this one. Or maybe this one. I, You know, honestly, I don't know what I want to do with my eyes because I had my lashes curled, like a lash perm, lash lift, and I love it. My lashes look incredible, but doing my eyeshadow has become very difficult because my lashes, like, are up to heaven. And now that my lashes are up to heaven, my eyeshadow, my mascara, my everything has become a little bit more challenging to apply because I get mascara everywhere, everywhere. But I'm gonna show you guys a little trick that I do. So it's like no big deal, but it just makes the mascara process a little bit annoying, if that's the right word, like it aggravates me a little bit. So I'm just trying to keep my eyeshadow looks simple and fast and very low maintenance so eyeshadow sticks they are the way to go i am using strike a rose from laura mercier i want to say it was a limited edition color but it's basically just a mauvey rose gold shade i applied it on the lid and i am buffing upwards so i want the heavy deposit of color on the lid and just lighter as i go up Try not to focus on the big welt that's on my brow bone. That is from me really being determined to pluck out an eyebrow hair. Have you guys ever done that where you like you have a tiny little pimple, it's like not obvious, it's no big deal, and you just, you bring out the caterpillar digger. Like <laughs> surgical, like your surgical gear, your construction gear, because you are determined to get it off your face. Yeah, okay, well I did that with the stray brow hair, now I look like I have a hole on my brow bone, and that's just... This is who I am as a person, and I love it. <laughs> and I love myself. This is a deeper shade, very similar, but a little deeper. This is Burnish Bronze, again, from Laura Mercier, my favorite eyeshadow sticks. I'm just putting that on the lid, same brush, just working it and keeping it low. I was gonna say, keep it in your lower extremities. I don't, I don't know why. I really don't know why. But you guys, it has taken me a minute to sit back down here and be like, woohoo, makeup, makeup's the best. You know what the good thing is though, is that I have rediscovered my love of makeup. I have rediscovered the pleasure and the joy that it brings me to walk into a Sephora or walk into an Ulta and be like, I don't need anything, but what am I gonna get, you know? <laughs> I have rediscovered the joy in that, but you know what else I've rediscovered is, you know, I lay awake at night sometimes thinking of all the million things that I need to do, praying and thanking God for all my blessings and how lucky I feel. I also do it when I wake up. And I usually say, hey, you know, if you could really just illuminate me and give me like an extra hour in the day, I would be eternally grateful. You could just, I don't know, be generous with your time and just give me an extra hour or two because, you know, I'm biting off more than I can chew here. Baseball season's around the corner. We're about to start getting really busy. And it's the perfect time for me to open an Etsy shop. Like, why am I this way? Look at my lashes. Do you see? Like, you really can't sleep on your face if you're gonna get a lash lift because you know when you have a bad hair day? Yeah, you're gonna have a bad lash day. So you have to be like super conscious, con conscious, conscientious. I don't know what the right application of word is here, but you have to be really aware before getting a lash lift of what it all entails. I think it would be a great beauty addition to those of you that have like rooftop lashes, you know what I'm talking about? Like a roof line lash the ones that go like that, and you have to use waterproof mascara, this would be an asset for those of you that have those kinds of lashes. This would also be an asset for those of you that have really short lashes, because our lashes are never as short as they look. They're usually longer, it's just there's no curl in them. Mine, however, you guys know how I am. More is more! So I use lash serum that makes my lashes really long, and I was like, oh, what if I do a lash lift 
That would be exciting. Yeah, okay, but now my lashes are up to Jesus because the... We're just gonna pretend none of that happened. So I have base filler in my hurricanes, my like candle hurricanes to hold my makeup brushes. That's like a old school YouTube video hack, whatever, remember? How I store my makeup brushes, base filler. So I have base filler in mine, but when you stick your enormous orangutan arm into it and fling the brushes out, now I have base filler everywhere, including my shag rug. So that's gonna be really fun. So anyway, if you have short lashes or if you have roof line lashes, that's how you call them in Spanish. I don't know how to say it in English, but a lash lift would be your best friend. The other thing that I have noticed and I benefit from the lash lift is I just need to do like one coat of mascara. Whereas before I would have to do multiple layers do I still do multiple layers? Yes, more is more, we've talked about this. So my camera decided to overheat while I was putting on mascara. What I was trying to say is one of the awesome things about having permed my lashes is that I can do one layer of mascara and I'm done. When have I ever been able to do that? Probably never. You guys know I'm a fan of tarantula lashes. There is not a tarantula lash that I have met that I don't like. I'm gonna show you what to do with all these smudges. So that's the one downside of having curled my lashes permanently, semi-permanently. It lasts four to eight weeks depending on your lash type. While all this mascara dries, we're gonna do lips. These are the stains from Ulta. Don't sleep on them. I discovered them in a gift set this holiday season. They are so good. Sort of remind me of Benetton, but I can't talk and do, so just, just observe. That's one coat, and we're gonna go in, not with the second coat, but just kind of touch up. A lot faster. You don't have to go all the way to the edges where you can like ruin your makeup. There you have two one and a half, let's say one and a half coats of a lip stain. Now, the benefits of a lip stain, A, the color is amazing, B, they last all day, C, if you eat, they don't come off. They will come off at the end of the day when you do your oil-based cleanser. So like a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil is the only way to get this off. The other added perk, if you know how to use it and you don't like matte liquid lipsticks is this could be your first layer to whatever lip color that you want to do so find a similar lip color this is your first layer then you can go in with whatever you're going to get the length of a lip color without the discomfort of a matte liquid lipstick which a lot of us aren't super big fans of it has to be a very particular formula for me to like jive with it okay when it comes to these smudges this trick will only work if it is not a waterproof mascara and it's a mascara that comes off easily at the end of the day. I never do like those long wearing waterproof mascaras. I'm kind of rubbing my Q-tip towards the direction that they wrapped the cotton on it. So not the opposite, with it, so that there's no loose little fibers that will get in your lashes and bother you for the rest of the day, no. So you do that, and I'm gonna bring you guys in close so you could get a really good look. So you see the smudges right there? And all it takes is one little pass, and it comes off. And it doesn't ruin your makeup. And this works with powder as well. Let me do it on this side. You can tell if you're going the right way because it starts to get smaller or it gets bigger and fluffier. So on this side, uh-oh, uh-oh. We're leaving that in because this is who I am. Oh, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna move or breathe. Do you guys see what I'm talking about? The little piece of cotton bud. This is an emergency. There we go. Man, I should have been a surgeon. No, my hands do not. They just, they don't. My hands always shake. Whether I've eaten, whether I haven't had any caffeine, I've done all the things, I'm just 
Parks are getting old. So all of the mascara smudges come off. Oh, I think I got one down there. Not all of them. Only the ones you personally. Boom. So learn that trick. Okay, maybe we did learn something in this video. You guys, you're gonna say I'm super shallow, but that attack on my eyebrow is really bothering me. So I'm just gonna take the littlest tap of concealer. I think that might be too much, hold on. Littlest tap. I basically highlighted it, but we're gonna pretend it's fine. You can't stop staring at it, can you? Please stop looking, please. Please stop staring. It's rude. It's rude to stare. So there you have it. We got ready together. We caught up. I will make sure to list and link all of the products that I used on my face down below. Seriously, don't sleep on the lip stains from Ulta, you guys. I went to eat Korean barbecue the other day. Actually, this is why I'm including this lip color. I went to eat Korean barbecue with uh, my son for his birthday, like all of us went. And you guys know Korean barbecue is. It's messy, it's greasy, you eat for like three hours, and I walked out looking just like this. I don't know if that was a good thing, but I was pretty proud of it. <laughs> anyway, all this stuff in this Get Ready With Me will be listed and linked in the description box of this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. If you guys wanna see what I have in my little Etsy shop, I will leave a link to it down below. It's like, um, oh, you know what? I have an example right here. So here's a little pop socket that I made the other day. So I just design the whatever's on there and then I glaze over it and uh, that's in my shop. These lanyards that you guys see all the time on my phone, I make those, that's on there too. The lanyards have these little charms that come off. If you don't like the, make sure to list that down below, but it's just been nonstop, you guys. It's just nonstop, busy, busy, busy all the time and I think this is just the new normal. And while my prayers may not be answered where I can have a 26 hour day, my prayers are answered that I am busy, that my kids are healthy, that everyone is happy and that this is just what life is and we're taking it in stride. So I hope you are as well. I love you guys so much and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys.